and uh, I'm responding to talk about the application line and in Korea in Europe WhatsApp is used USA, of course, we have Twitter, Facebook, and all the major social apps. Uh, because USA is USA. Because of the stock market and exchange, and because of NASDAQ, it gets highly promoted. And guess what? Korea and versus China, and then versus Japan, and then there's another. Apple is going to take like 2 or 3 gigabytes out of your entire phone, which is pretty much, uh, it won't happen. Uh, everyone will be running out to get iPhone 6, you know, the 64 gigabyte or 128 at, at the very minimum. Um, it's the best in Japan in terms of what they have, you know, it sends the small pictures, the emojis and stuff like that, but uh, what I thought was the best compared to, you know, for those who know me, I'm terribly not a fan of Facebook. Uh, Zuckerberg is, well, people know his past, people know what he's done, people know the beginning of Facebook and how it started, and people still use it, so, uh, yeah, that's society. And Twitter is, you know, it's a taxi application, which is, which tells people up to the you know, what things are happening. For sharing photos and stuff like that, for people who are interested right now, but rather the profile of a certain person. Twitter is kind of fussy, you just shift back and forth and do all that stuff. So, I thought mine was pretty good until I saw the, you know, how much storage you can use. And of course, they have their own well, It's getting bigger now. That is, is that line is Korean. It's a Korean company, and in, when it got really big, and when people began, you know, because it has like funny characters and funny emojis and stuff like that, people thought, hey, it's so cute, it's Japanese. And when, when they started getting big and popular, they were frantic because the people found out that this mom is Japanese, you know, you know like Korea and Korean, something. Frantic, you know, neighbor. It sounds like an American company. It could be an American company in any uh, location. It's you know, really hard to get like Japanese people like, on their board and on the web pages to begin to, you know, promote more of the Japanese persons which are in, in the company. It's funny. And anyway, people are using it, but it's a hefty load, and unless you email person every every day, you shouldn't. Uh, use it, but in Japan it's a must. And I thought it was the best until I saw how much it uses versus Kakao. And Kakao is the application of WhatsApp which is used in Korea. And it's primarily now flooded with like people who are promoting themselves, you know, and their services, their night services. 
uh, you know, very attractive women out there, and you know, they have certain services that they're like like to offer a gentleman or like serve as a gentleman's club. Even you know, if they want to go out work for a particular pimp, you know, I shouldn't say that word, but uh, if you work for a gentleman's club or something like that, you need representation. And some girls now like don't want to bypass that. was getting that kind of publicity, you know, everyone's on, on board, and it's really big there, and I thought that was really cool too, except uh, no one uses it here in Japan, uh, because it's Korean, it's famous for me, and people, the only people in Japan to tell you flat out who use Kaka are people who don't want to add you to mind, so let's see, like, they have a circle of friends online, but they're part of the want you to see, for example, you're like a third party friend, they know you something, they know you from somewhere like a, a club or a dance and they don't know how it's going to turn out, well they add you on a third party, like how about a dance, but besides that, uh, uh, cool. and I thought that was really cool too, until you talk about WeChat, WeChat, what is WeChat, oh my gosh, so, this serves a lot, over a billion people, and it's literally a one-stop shop for like everything. It's super powerful and you can send voice messages. Uh, those who know me on Facebook, you know, I don't like the don't like that application. Oh my gosh, it uses so much on my phone too, but um WeChat, you know, Facebook recently added like voice capability and stuff like that. They're all features based on WeChat and uh, everyone's trying to chase that application. Literally, no one uses it here and until a few of my Shanghai uh, buddies who visited Tokyo uh, showed me and said, you know, let me add you online and I want to contact you. And they're like, add WeChat, add WeChat. I'm like, what the hell is that? Anyway, they did it for me. I don't know how they had signed up and stuff like that. But they're like, it's really easy and to contact each other. And, you know, it's really powerful. It's like Google Circles where you, like, unless you know someone, unless you and that person Unless someone knows you and that person, they won't be able to see it. Versus like Facebook and stuff like that, even though you don't know the person, they can, they can see it because ultimately they're out there with money and they're trying to network and increase your network and increase. Well, they're trying to force you to use it essentially. While we chat really, uh, I never spent a lot of their time to use it. Like Google Plus, it actually has better control with less technicality. 